I'm back. Hey there, cats and kittens. It's your weird Uncle XV. <clears throat> I am going to try something a bit different. So, uh, I've been fucking around with oaths. I have I've completed all the challenges, honestly, that I'm interested in. I will eventually do lightweights, but it just seems like such a pain in the ass. So... I um I this originally was going to be a random this was originally going to be a a random oaths run select an, a certain number of oaths hit the randomize button and then uh, upgrade them as I see fit I came up with these two and it turned out to be a much harder a much harder run than I had expected so I'm doing it again on camera this time and I'm gonna give this uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot so the two oaths that I'm taking. Steel Man, enemies start with... It's Steel Man Tier 2. Enemies start with double their normal vitality. And Plague, Tier 3, enemies are completely impervious to poison. I originally started this with a beaver and a mouse, which is uh, generally for... Aiming for endgame, that's one of the... It's one of the strongest opening, uh, opening teams. Uh, however, I found that the uh, uh, mouse was having a lot of problems um, coming up with enough damage to overcome 100% additional vitality in the first street before uh, before he got any of his, his uh, talents or passives. So I'm going to try this a slightly different way. We're going to go Beaver Weasel. Uh, all enemies have double. Everyone has double health. Everyone against us has double health, and enemies are impervious to poison. I am going to be going after Prince. I have no guarantee that I'm going to be able to succeed. I'll do my level best, but I may fucking fail. Just throwing that out there. I'm going to start off with uh, giving an extra will to DeGray, because, as I said, the first thing that I noticed was that, well, obviously, with, with uh, everyone's with all enemy mobs' health being twice as much, obviously I need as much early game damage as I can possibly manage. So, it is Mirabelle Islington, hello lady, and it is Gwendolyn de Grey, hello also lady. So, we are currently a hen's night. It's a ladies' night out. Right away you can see, like, I... I 32 health on... On a uh, on just stage one, we have no cards. We've got nothing. It's a lot, is what I'm saying. They uh, <clears throat> longer fights generally don't go better for us. We want to be able to we want to be able to clear things very quickly. This is already going better. Yeah. This is my second time trying this particular uh, th this particular combination of mods. The first time I uh, was a practice run for this, and I I called a mulligan uh, about halfway up the first street because I saw, well. I saw what issues I was having, and uh, my first round of talents for the mouse were fucking awful, and uh, I, I realized that my problems were not going to be resolving anytime soon, so I called a mulligan, and I started again on camera this time. As you turn a corner, you find yourself confronted by a wiry figure, their identity masked by the dim light, but their noble birth betrayed by their fine robes. I know why you've come to Dawn's Point, the low, dry voice echoes off- Oh, low and dry. I know why you've come to Dawn's Point, the low, dry voice echoes off the cold stone. I can help you reach him. My family are being held captive in Old Town. Help us flee the city and I will arrange you entry into the keep. Find a boat and free my family. Then meet us in the sewers below the royal court. Do as I ask, and you will have your plot. You exchange a solemn understanding nod with the old wolf before he sharply hurries off. So, uh, if for whatever reason you're just joining us, the story behind this game is that we there are rival factions, Enders. Uh, we are in uh, Dawn's Edge, which is the home city of the Enders faction, or Noble House, or fucking whatever. We are Blackfoot. Um, the good king, who was kind and benevolent, as far as we are aware, uh, tried 
he was hoping that he could broker a peace with our leader Landon and uh, <clears throat> the prince got jealous and murdered his father and then set fire to our uh, the black church uh, it, it's unclear what the black church is but it's clearly something important because we have come to dawn's edge to murder literally dozens upon dozens of angry angry furries until we get to the prince who we are going to pitch out of a window Let's see, so it's 16 damage coming at the barricade. I can do that. Good, okay. So that's one full action down. Okay. to his bleed. Oh, fucking duh, I'm a moron. It was the other one who was bleeding. What, what the, really, really, XV, really. Are we that gone, are we that far gone already? Like, we've literally just started. We've got, on average, probably another three and a half hours to go. And you're already with, okay. It's a distressing thing when I can feel myself not paying attention to things that I really need to be paying attention to. Anyway, uh, okay, la and la. Okay, so we got ten damage coming into the barricade. He'll die to his bleed. None of these. Maybe terrible wound this time. Everyone's got everyone's got twice as much health. I'm gonna try taking on terrible wound. What that's going to do is it Oh yes. Oh, thank fucking Christ for that. Okay. Um I forgot that I was reading the uh the encounters. Kilderkin have come along saying, Hey, would you like something that's going to help you win the game? And I said, Yes, I would like to pay you a hundred dollars to give me something that is going to help me win the game. We're not going after fight or flight. That sounds nightmarish with everyone having twice as much health. Um, we're going to take a big gamble. Um, <clears throat> whenever a party member dies, the survivors lose uh, 15 max vitality, but it's giving us 10 max vitality. So we just need to make sure nobody fucking dies. Heavy patrol is going to be difficult. Heavy patrol is actually going to be... No, it's actually not that bad. Okay, good, good, okay. This is the heavy patrol? It's a bunch of peasants. This dude has a push broom. Are you... Are you sure? So that's... 16? 16 and 5, so it's 21 damage coming in. There's nothing I can do about that, so... Again, I, I am fucking up already <laughs> in figuring out who is attacking where. All right, you know what? Just don't don't pay attention to me. Dot. 
Three by three, so you're already set. Good. That's interesting, also. I did not notice the terrible wound is vitality damage. That makes a difference. That makes a very big difference in the way that I'm going to be playing this card. It also means that this card is worth taking around if I have mice. Because with additional strength on, on with additional strength and modified with uh, a shot of red powder, uh, direct vitality damage is, um, yeah, okay. I take back a lot of what I said about that card. I had not been using it correctly, taking Flurry. Uh, uh, eh. You know what? I'm going to give him uh, his own shield. Her own shield. Just in case, for right now. Also because that, uh, that longsword isn't doing anyone any favors. Cloud is fine. And an extra stamina. I don't really like any of these. Diversion might not be a bad idea, so that I can constantly have uh, her shivs coming back into my hand. I'll try it. I'll try it. I I I, I know that I can always. I'm going to do one more step. One more will next round. Next level. I'm going to start building stamina. So, 20 damage coming on to you, and 10 on you, that's fine. Uh, why don't I just boot you? this this does mean this does mean that I'm going to my my deck is going to fill up with concealed blades actually no not necessarily just three I'll have three that'll come through again and then they will and then they'll just they'll they'll banish next time theoretically what are you doing 10 damage all right Oh, that's yours. I made a mistake there. Okay. That should be enough. I think that should be enough. Yes, okay. I'll die to his bleed. I love you. I'm not taking running on... I want to take running on fumes. I'm not going to because it, it's going to basically put one of them to sleep for a round. And I don't have a bear. Uh, reserves! Okay, take it. I will take it. Reserves is great. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do the combat, then the boat merchant.
as far as I as far as I can see, for the moment, I am I am my plan is to definitely go after the prince. I don't know how that's going to go because uh, those king's guard are going to have twice as much health, and that feels like it's going to be a bit of a hard stopping point. But. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a go anyway. This go bigger or go home, right? Right? Right. Also, fuck the prince. Uh, 10 damage coming from you. Okay. Just to be very clear about something, one of the best things about bleed is that it go bleed and poison go first. If they have any any health regeneration effect, that comes well actually that comes first. But they it the bleed damage and the poison damage happens before they take an action. So that that this this brace of shivs that I have just poured into him, it has it 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 has actually done effectively during my turn. Before he can take his turn, it has done fifteen damage, because uh, six from the well base six, not counting the overwhelm, base six from the uh, from the, the damage on the card, and then an additional nine from the bleed. So fifteen damage is being done to this enforcer. And he's just gonna die. Weasels are very, very strong. The biggest problem with weasels is that they are they shine the brightest early game. No one else can do this. Whether or not they remain that useful, whether or not they maintain that level of usefulness depends a great deal on the choices that you take and also the choices that are made available for you. Our first round of, uh, our first round of talents, for, well, honestly, uh, weasel talents, weasel talents don't really float my boat for the most part. They're not all, they're fine. They are fine. Some of them are more fine than others. I'm not going to take a second terrible wound, but I will take a calculating strike because I need that card draw. Okay. I feel comfortable passing up that. Shut up and take my money. Oh, I forgot again I was reading the, the, the cards. All right. So, 10 sweeping, an additional 10 coming onto the barricade. That's fine. Barricade's okay. Oh, I should have done that. The other way around. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't fucking matter. The fact that it is vitality damage and the fact that it it the weasel is able to build so much so much bleed so quickly if you are i've said this i've i've and will continue yep yeah, they they um if you are having difficulties with this game in the early stages run this composition. A weasel and a beaver. Beaver goes in front and puts up a, a barricade and then devotes a lot of time to just making sure that his barricade is up and that he is up. What are you hitting? 
Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. First couple of levels, first couple of levels, you'd focus... Like, two levels, you want to get, you want to get Weasel up to... You want to get Weasel to, like, at least three will as soon as you can. That's, uh... It's 27 cumulative bleed. It makes a, such a huge difference right at the beginning of the game, and I can't do anything about that. That's fine. I keep forgetting that he has one uh, will left. Okay. Actually, I think I just need to get you. There we go. He'll die to his bleed. <sighs> invigorating blow, absolutely. Without even looking at whatever the fuck else there was there. Invigorating blow, absolutely. Ah, guardsman, fine. Fucking whatever. You do not look like guardsmen. You are clearly two thugs and a scoundrel. Okay, whatever. I am... I ain't no snitch. I'm not gonna turn you into the authorities. But I am going to murder you with bleeds. I hope that's okay. Wasting his shot, that's fine. You're gonna die to your blade. You are gonna get a bunch of blade. You will not die to your bleed. Damn it! I thought he had less health than that. <laughs> he did not. Quick hands. And our. Okay, so I am going to. I'm going to be adding one will onto Islington because the fights are going so much longer. The uh, the barricades are wearing down much quicker, and I don't have any barricade-centric talents. Uh, Clout is going to help out with that, but in the meantime, for right now, we're taking along a second will so that we can replace a barricade. Big money no whammies. Ugh, fucking hell. That's too bad. So I'm not taking Plagued because one of the two... Uh, one of the two... Like, it's not working. God damn it. Yes, there we are. One of the two mods that we've chosen, we've got Plague. Enemies are, imp it's tier three Plague. Enemies are impervious to poisons and tier two Steelmen. All enemies have twice as much health. Uh, so Plagued here, this is valueless and I don't do ruins, so it's going to be relentless, which is, it's all right. Huh. Flow is the obvious choice, because a weasel with flow really, really, it's, it's, uh, it's a major turning point. And it also means that we can afford to take along much more valuable cards. This, however, whenever this character attacks an enemy, gain five florins. This, enemy, this character attacks enemies all the fucking time. It would be a lot of money 
but frankly, Flo is still probably objectively the better choice, and I'm going to take another will because of that, because we want as many of that shit as we possibly can. We're going to take a look at the weapon merchant, but we're not planning on buying anything. I'm lagging behind in money. Uh, so let's just take a look. How much is it? It's 200 bucks a piece? It's 200 bucks a piece, and it's this. Oh my god, are you serious? This is the first time I've ever actually managed to see this fucking thing. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pay 200 bucks for that. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day. Uh, that means... Okay, I've got one half a street left. Okay, that helped. I've got one half a street left. I, my goal is probably going to be around 1,200 florins. But at 800, I should be able to recruit at least one extra guy. My biggest problem, however, is going to be that I don't really have a lot of... Uh, don't really have a lot of uh, expensive cards currently. So, in case it isn't obviously clear, just in case. Oh no, I made a mistake! Ah, I tried to get slick and I fucked up. That's fine. That's fine. That's actually more than enough. I am going to use the withdraw to swap because I don't want to... I don't have good armor on you yet. So, because bleed, uh, 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 flow attempts to reduce the cost of one card in your hand to zero. If all the cards in your hand are already zero, then there's... I, 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 what happened was I fucked that up. I should have uh, should have brought more... I should have brought more shivs in my hand earlier. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. I know what I did wrong. Oh, I should have done that off of you, who has a 15 damage card right now. I was not thinking. Just a little excited. Uh, this crossbow, this is uh, this is the reward for doing um, blood something. It's the really it's the it's the challenge run that is, in my opinion, it's the hardest that they have available because it needs to be handled so very very cautiously. Anyway, anyway, it's the one with all the bleeds, and uh, this is the res this is I've 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 never gotten this before. <laughs> This is the first time I've gotten it. It's just very exciting. Yay! You're gonna die to your bleed. When drawn, discard a card, banish. Okay. Can I just discard itself? Oh, I can discard... But it didn't discard. Is that a bug? Have I discovered... Well, let's find out. One moment, please. Thank you very much. One moment. <sighs> Rebolding. Second wind. Uh, mm. Kind of no. 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 No to any of them. And DeGray already has a ranged weapon, so I I'm not hurting for those. 
100 experience. I'll go for the gem. Negative one will cost. Now that is, that is a thing. I'm going to be putting that onto withdraw, and that means that withdraw has become just another card. I'll give it to you. Okay. Nope, I'm going to forfeit this one. I did not like any of those. I suppose that, that, that part was already made clear when I said, I'm going to forfeit this one. <laughs> doesn't cost a will. That's awesome. Okay. Just take him completely out. That'll do. Alright. You are a little bit behind, so I'll go ahead and give you the, uh, the extra resto. Good. those discarded so my deck is kind of cluttered with concealed blades but I have a shit ton of card draw I have I have both do I have them both I think that I have them both I have quick hands and I know that I have precision strike calculating strike good I have them both what's coming Rolling the dice. Yes! <clears throat> and because of diversion, when when her shifts come back up into my hand, I'm just getting value out of flow over and over and over again. I uh, <clears throat> I I'm cautiously optimistic. The last time I did one of these, I was doing a challenge run on a powder master, and I had a lot to say about uh, how highly. Uh, I thought of my chances of just breezing through, and then I got my ass handed to me by the prince. So, the moral of this and every story is, every single fucking time XV tries to show off, uh, he explodes. To Grey getting an extra stamina right there is exactly what I needed. That is precisely what I, I was... Good. Good. Uh, let's see. What can you do for me, Sedge? I don't want to reroll Banish. 
I'm actually quite happy with it. We don't favor beggars. Fuck off, beggar. All right. I'm only going to be able to hire one of them, but I should be able to. Yes, good. I can hire both. Or rather, I, I, I there, I'm not, I'm not cash locked off to any of them. I can hire any one of them. Nope. Hmm. Okay. I don't mind vigor. Mm, I don't mind it. Very puzzling talents. He's carrying a tower, tower shield, but I'm absolutely not going to keep him in the front. He would be right behind the... Uh, he would be behind... Let's see. He'd be right behind my beaver, and the beaver would get the tower shield. Um, nope, because we, we, poison does nothing, so if someone has anything that does anything with poison, that's it. They're useless. They have no value to us. I am going to take Tristan Durwater, and hope I don't regret it. Uh, let's see... Nope. Reason to take that away from you. Your, his, everything he starts with, kind of sucks. The flail and the round, the round shield is good. The flail is not great. The master at arms is useless because his weapons are useless. He does have master at arms though. Has master at arms. If he has master at arms, I should really give him. I should really give him the barbed crossbow should really give him the crossbow because then he can have that crossbow back into his hands. I This is going to be spitter. It's going to be spitter and I'm going to swear loudly. I'll try to turn my head away from the microphone so I do not swear loudly directly into the microphone. It's not spitter. All right. I didn't have to swear loudly into or out of the microphone. Now, you'll notice, Sledge has 144 fucking health. So, we are going to be forced to find out whether or not Sledge is or in fact is not shit. Okay, I'm doing something for a reason. So, emptied out my hand completely. Fuck yourself, Sledge. Okay. Now that is going to make a bit of a difference. What are you doing? Two swings of six each. Uh, well, let's get you out of the way. We should have sprinkled the fucking... I really should be saving these. But that's him dead next round. So we don't have to find out what it is that he does that makes him shit or not. You are going to need an extra. Okay.
Unfortunately, I don't have any bleeds left over for these guys, who each have 96 health. So this is going to be potentially a thing. And I did not rescue any of my... Uh, I did not preserve any of my ships. So, uh, clearly, I thought that one through. It's fine. These guys are not going to be able to break through my armor. I, I just... I could have done that better, I'd say. I see. Okay, so... With the Shroud of Vigor... I didn't realize that regalvanize. Well, no, you know what? Regalvanize might not be that bad, but it costs a will. Oh, hey, I can just swap my will over on my uh, negative one will over onto it, can't I? I forgot I had that gem. Just okay. If I discard uh, recoil, it actually goes back into my discard pile. But I wonder if I can just keep on discarding it forever. But if I do that, that means that uh, that particular slot for card draw is always going to be. Yeah, it's 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 penalizing me with uh, uh, for blah, blah, for for drawing it. I'm still drawing the fucking thing. Theoretically, also diversion means that that is not going to banish, but it can discard itself, so fucking whatever. No sense in him taking damage if he doesn't have to. Yeah, I reiterate, Sledge went down easily, like gravy. But but then these guys have lingered for a bit, so I, I need to uh, I need to be a lot more careful about the way that I am spending my resources here. That being said, uh, we came through okay. Going to take a Kimbo. Fuck's sake. Still, just even as even a medium armor. Fucking hell, that was a boss. I am getting a little concerned about. I'm getting a little concerned about that. I need better armor on Islington. Fucking immediately. Uh, Islington is about to roll over. Uh, De Grey is halfway there. Tristan Durwooder is going to get the most amount of benefit from this. Oh, fingers crossed. Sharp. Okay. And I'm back in it. So, Tristan Durwater throws his shivs last. He throws his shivs last. I cannot lean on him. He's going to be a primary damage dealer, but he's going to be a bit useless on... Uh, on the warden, on the warden, he's going to be useless because the damage that those shivs are going to start doing is going to—it's going to shoot way over twenty-five very quickly. So I can use that to kill everybody else.
So this is the way that sharp works. Anytime any concealed blade is spawned, you add another stack of sharp. So obviously you're adding three at a time. Every single time you hit a weasel's will, you're adding another three, including the one stack that it starts with. So what this means... Sixteen. So... Means that his shivs suddenly and very swiftly become uh, a lot. They become a lot. So we are right away right back in this. Well, not that we were out of this. Yeah, okay. So I'm still drawing a dead card. Could use a second second wind, but right now I'm looking for well, this I'm looking for other things right now. Give me a minute. Extra stamina, please. Uh, yeah, fortification. Yes, fortification. Sure. Fortification uh, is going to be worth modify talents. That's if you give me a moment. We are going to reroll galvanize. Are we going to reroll the galvanize? We're going to keep galvanize. We're going to put that negative one will on galvanize, and we are going to reroll master at arms. Yes. That inventor is going. The reward for that inventor is going to be useless for us. Is not going to give us anything that we can use. But it is still... I'm going to take the Elite Combat instead, I think. Uh, give me a moment. I need to see if I need to swap some shit around. Give me a moment. Good. Good.
like that. That's uh, real bad. Oh, that's the thing I kept on forgetting I was going to do. Uh, move the uh, this onto right. Right. Good. If that's what I was waiting for. Okay. So the question I was trying to answer there was, uh, same or more vital? Oh, the same or more vitality. So obviously he has the same vitality as himself. I misread. I'm a dumbass. All right, all right, all right. All right. Taking another Kimbo. Oh, look, fucking thank God. Because this means he's not going to be taking any actions. She's not going to be taking any actions for a while. But still, Jesus Christ. Did I already say? It? Yes, I already said. It. Nothing. That was a fucking rough fight. Thanks for noticing. I'm going to take the free experience, because that is worth... Oh, just one. Just one level up. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. I haven't seen that one before. I have not seen this one before. That's pretty cool. But um, oh, we don't have any ruins, so... Okay, taking the money, taking the gem. Oh hey, look, it's that thing I keep forgetting to fucking do. The game decided to just do it for me. I'm going to take the combat and the prisoners. Oh god, 80 health knife throwers, huh? That'll be fun, that'll, that'll be a lot of fun. diversion in. So these all go right back to the deck. Now, this is how knife throwers work. See this thing right here? This is knives. Whenever this character's attacked, they gain a knives. Um, <clears throat> whenever I play any weapon card, all of them are going to do five damage per stack of knife to whoever's standing immediately in front of him. So that is seven times five against Islington, who is sitting on 43. I'm going to say no. No. Not until... Not until this knife thrower is dead. I know that I really, what I really should be doing right here is going for definite kills, but while I have a moment to breathe, my intention is to, uh, 14 times five. Nope, nope, that would be very stupid. That would be very, very stupid. Yeah, just fucking wait. What are you doing? Yeah, I regret nothing. If you're not paying attention to it, then you're not ready for it. Knife throwers are one of those. There are a couple of different mobs in this game that are... I wouldn't call them traps, but they're, they're basically traps. They're waiting for you to do something incredibly stupid, and if you do that incredibly stupid thing, if you don't pay attention, you lose one of your guys. You just lose one of your guys. If you've watched any of my streams, if you've watched any of this, you've seen me falling into those because I'm stupid and I don't really pay attention. But I know where they are. I'm looking at the trap as I toddle aimlessly into it. Knife throwers are one of them. Uh, especially, especially in what is effectively right now a shiv deck. Uh, I, I load, I load, you, you load up one dude with knives and then you carelessly throw a weapon card and then whoever is standing in front of that knife thrower just falls down. And you'll die to your bleed. No. Yes. I'm going to take this for exactly one reason. Uh, we are going to be coming up towards... Uh, I, I, I took a lot of damage that I didn't need to from that poison because I wasn't paying attention to re retaliation. DeGray is now immune to retaliation. 
She is carrying a weapon that she probably... Did I literally just come here? I did. She's carrying a weapon that she will probably never actually use. But she has one, so... Uh, all right, steadfast. Perfect. Perfect for you, Mirabelle Islington. Steadfast is... Uh, it's passive generation of... Okay, perfect. We're going to go to the prisoners right now. Uh... uh Steadfast is passive armor generation, eight, eight armor per round, full stop. Islington's also wearing superior heavy armor, so she is she's okay. She's um, she's she's a, a she's a fucking brick shit house right now. She is a brick house. Yeah, actually, that's, um... Galvanize is quite good if it doesn't cost a fucking will. Who knew? Die to your bleed. Okay. None of these. All right, Dirtwater. Uh, I don't have any ruins. I don't have anything that would... Mm. This spawns a concealed blade, which would be nice. But uh, I, I don't like the ruining card bit. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to ruin card, and also if it's really that much of a hassle, what I can just do is uh, wait until this is the last card in my hand, and then just throw that last. I think, actually, I'm just going to forfeit and not clutter up my deck. I'm going to go ahead and take another Will, however, because uh, his cannon is necessary. He is a lot of our damage currently. I need to change that. I need a mouse. I'm going to absolutely need a mouse, and I need more red powder, but... And people in hell want ice water. Need ice water. Fucking whatever. Actually, I'm completely wrong. I'm actually going to be casting this quite a lot because I can make it cheap.
Oh no, he will not die to his bleed. Ah, you dumbass. Let's fix that. If this persists, I may actually... Well, we'll see. I don't want to jump the gun or anything, but... Uh, that that card is... That talent is decent enough that that might warrant putting Durwood in the front row if it comes to it. None of these. All right. The informant's wife and child are out and safe. Butch. And our path is... Well, no. We still have one more thing to do. 208 on an Ender Knight. That's... This is especially a problem because he doesn't take bleed damage until his armor is down to 60. So... Let's think about this. All right. That is... Uh, it's not vitality damage. It is straight damage, but not quite there. Not quite there. There we are. In order for... Mm, that's fine. In order for me to persist... To get through the Warden... Oh, God. Knight dies to his po to his poison. Well, yeah, might as well be. The knight dies to his bleed. He also dies to this ship. He just dies. That's that's the important part. None of these. These guys are going to be even more of a pain in the ass because they keep on throwing up. Um, they keep on throwing uh, anticipations on themselves. One thing that I like about the the wording of this um, anticipation is raised to one. They don't continually stack anticipation. They just raise it to one. That is a it's it's an important distinction.
pain in the ass. Alright, well. Plus side, the damage and the application of the bleed are two separate effects. So it is it is preventing it's preventing the damage from the shift, but it's not preventing the bleed. But it is 50 damage and it felt good. You shit. Uh, I need healing. None. None of these. No, not really that either, because he's the only one who's using a Kimbo currently. Another diversion. Another diversion. I'm gonna take another I'm gonna take another diversion. I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna take another diversion, and I'm going to take another will, and that's possibly, possibly going to be the last will that I put on him, at least for a little. Her, at least for a little while. Plus one stamina or duplicate a red powder. We're going to duplicate the red powder. That was a difficult choice, but we're going to duplicate the red powder. Relic Knight is a thought. Yeah, I'll take the Relic Knight. I'll take Relic Knight. And I'm going to save that heal for afterwards. A fucking mustache. Look at you. First card played against him uh, each turn. When he's on the active rank, the first card uh, played against him will be ruined. And if it's a skill, it's ruined permanently. So you need to be real careful what you're playing on him. But I'm playing on him a card that is going to banish, so... The other thing that he does, when he attacks, everyone else on his rank, everyone else also attacks. So as long as he is alive... Yeah, I got a bunch of incoming damage. 
It's not so bad. That's not so bad. That sucks. Okay. Let's clean up some shit back here, shall we? Good, that's what I was waiting for. That is what I was waiting for. Go ahead and ruin that picture. Actually, I think that might yeah, it did ruin because it didn't banish it, discard it. Alright. You win this one. to that bleed. So here's the trick also with these guys. These guys, whenever any of their uh, whenever any of their buddies dies, they gain uh, they gain a bunch of stacks of fury. How many stacks of fury? Three, which is a lot, frankly. But we are uh, the scary one is out the door, so we are fine. Um, You know what? We're gonna wait. I'm gonna spin it out for a round. I wanna get a little bit of health out of this. He will die to his bleed, but he's not gonna... Oh, he might, actually. Now that he's up to 15... Yeah, alright, fine, fine, fine. We're done. Uh, another calculating strike, because we're... lagging behind on card draw. I will gain charity... I will take well rested because I it's all the way at the end. There it is. I can make it into a free card. Alright. Good. 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 Alright. Uh I'm going to take the combat. I'm going to take as many combats as I can. Knife throwers. All right. You notice it's that knives is up to 13 but there's no one across from him. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'm going to uh, uh let him 
gonna let him unleash all that and get nothing out of it. One moment, please. Thank you for your patience. Here we go. Actually. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. All right, so... these or these. All right. Um, we're going to let Caster wait for a moment, and we're going to stick with trying to take as many combats as possible. I want more levels. health. Jesus Christ. Seems like a waste, but I'll take it. Less actions incoming is less actions incoming. Ugh. One moment. Trying to get a little bit more comfortable. Which hopefully won't make me impossible to hear.
Okay, good. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm gonna get through the warden. All right, so um, it's a very good question. I'm gonna take a second invigorating blow. All right. So so far, yeah. Okay, I'll take Caster now. Uh, so far, I've been relying. I've been leaning pretty heavily on uh, being able to get very very big hits back into my hand over and over again, thanks to the card that is preventing them from. Spanish, and I'm trying to dole it out so that they don't all go back into my deck. That is not going to work. That's not going to work on the warden because he can only take he can only take a maximum of 25 vitality damage. Hmm. Is he doing vitality damage? He is. Okay. Maybe I can do it if I just completely avoid hitting him with red powders. None of these. And none of these either. There's Caster's crossbow. And now uh, both DeGray and Durwater have 15 damage, 15 weapon damage uh, weapons, which is great. Take another clout. Okay, we're going to do the armor. We're going to do the armor, even though we're not getting anything out of this. This is going to be actually quite a rough fight. We need to make... Oh, God, look at all that health. Okay, we need to do everything in our power to ensure that this guy, this guy, at the very least dies this round. fucking happens, this guy has to die. Oh, this might be a waste. I'm losing all of these. Alright. So here's the fucking deal with this shit. Here's the deal with this. These guys take 
they take decreased damage based on the number of people, based on the number of guys who are on their uh, on their rank. So right now, these guys are taking half damage from all sources, which includes which includes bleeds. By the way, and I need to make sure that guy at the very least was down. And I also need to be real careful. I need to be real careful. I don't want any more. I don't want any more. Uh, I'm not going to hit that button on uh, Durwater again until I have protection in, in, in my hand. I want them to sight. There it is. All right, there's diversion. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. I'm doing this on purpose. I want them going back into my deck. All right, much better. Now this guy has been fully neutered. Yes, I'll take a low exchange. Sure, sure. Because I have flow. That give me any. It did not give me enough experience to move to uh, level. But okay, I'm in pretty good shape. I think, maybe, possibly. Another fucking weasel. Oh, I need a mouse. I need a mouse. I may be in some trouble. Oh. Huh. Arterial rupture is the reason why I would take Hemel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Great pat well, would be great passage if this wasn't a rabbit. No, none of these. And none of these either. Maybe. No. Not good. This one's not bad. I'll take it. I'm not super thrilled about it, though. Durwater's on the outside, because Durwater has the ability to build up some... And everyone in the back row has has uh, ranged. This is a problem, potentially. Potentially. I, I'm going to... What I'm going to need to do on... So my, my tactic on the Warden, and probably all of the big bosses, is build up a shit pile of... Okay. I also know uh, from experience that Gritsalt needs to die very quickly. Because Gritsalt under normal circumstances ain't shit, but uh, he's got 224 health, so Gritsalt is shit. He is some shit. Alright. 
What's up, Gritty? All this bleed is going to turn into... Okay. So here's the thing that I've just realized about Grit Salt, and I feel very stupid because I knew this already. Grit Salt has Die Hard. They are going to take this... They're going to take this bleed damage once, and then at the end of the... Oh, they're not... He's not even going to take that bleed damage at the end of this round. It's going to be converted into... Okay, he needs to die this round. He needs to die right now. I am reasonably certain that I can pull that off. Okay. We are fine. He'll die from this bleed. There. All of that was going to turn into strength, which was going to cause him to just fuck the gray. Everybody got a crossbow. It's difficult to it's difficult to figure out who is carrying which. Uh, okay, scoundrel's cloak is good. Survivalist gear is okay. Hamlin's getting the uh, so the survivor's cloak. Hamlin is the furthest from it. Everyone else is almost there, really. Okay, so we're going to give this to Hamlin. Congratulations, Hamlin! Oh, big money, no whammies. Ooh, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll fucking take it. I'll absolutely take it. So now every time Hemlin does damage, he also leaves behind a bleed.
That's how I'm planning on killing the Warden. Just basically nickel and dime him to death. That's literally what you have to do. I mean, like, that's that's nothing special. That is literally what is necessary to do in order to kill him. You must actually literally nickel. You must actually figuratively nickel and dime him to death. What you must literally do is stab some buttons on a screen. Now, we don't care about carapace. We don't care a piss. <laughs> hey, wow! I got him! Because, um... Our, uh, uh, our, our entire back row is just nothing but ranged. And they are fully immune to retaliation. So this feels pretty good. Oh no! Oh, you know what? No. Don't want to accidentally fuck up my tank, thank you. There we go. The reason why it's taking all that extra time is because it has to uh, count up the retaliation and also the bleeding. Notice that the retaliation is at 90. Uh, none of these. And none of these. Yeah, okay. I'll absolutely take that. Energetic is not a bad idea either. But I I it's Durwater is the one with well, yeah, Durwater is the one with sharp. I'm going to give you one extra uh stamina if I can get if I can get you to 8. At 8 I'm going to give him the uh the last will. I am I'm going to go with uh I'm gonna go with the, the, the weapon belt. Ooh, shit. I'm also gonna go with intelligence. Okay. The big money, no whammies, no whammies! Um, whammies. Shit. Fuck it. That sucked. Uh, you... Okay. I'll take it. Immunity to bleeds. And Weasel with Flow gets another will. Picking up the chains. Because we are still going after another chains, sure. We are still going after the uh, the prince. That's gonna be the last chains I pick up. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. A lot coming in on you, huh? Should have put it onto the gray. Hmm. All right, well. So that is 40 damage hitting the gray. Let's try to take... Oh my god, the halberdiers have 192 health. All right, well, let's see what we can do about this.
fine. It's 20 damage instead of more than, instead of 40. Still too much. Yikes. Ooh, dear. That's bad. Okay, the gray. It would be nice if I had... I mean, there's a couple of things that... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yikes. Good. Okay. So I'm getting hit with 20, but this guy's dying. Mm. What are you doing? Just Fortress, that's fine. Okay. Alright. So, I'm about to do something that is going to look really dumb. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll just die to this. Yeah, okay. Never mind. None of these. And none of these. Okay, we're taking the knife throwers. Are they going to have... How much health are you going to have? 80. Ah, oh, that's real... That's real interesting. Alright, so, we're not going to be using any weapon cards. Basically at all. We're going to pick someone, and we're going to power that motherfucker down, and we're not going to use any fucking weapon cards. I'm going to forget. I promise you I'm going to forget. And I'm going to use a weapon card, and I'm going to have one of my dudes deleted. Just fucking wrecked. Sir, you're still not dead. For fuck's sake. Alright, that'll kill you. Okay, two down. I didn't intend for this to happen. I didn't necessarily want to have a backline of just nothing but like, whoops, all weasels. Like I really wanted, I wanted a wolf, I wanted a mouse. It just the game said, hey, would you like to have some more weasels? And I was like, do I have a choice? And the game was like, nah, not really. These are discarding now, because I have Diversion up, so I'm going to be a bit more free about casting them. Okay, he's down. There we go. 
Now. I will take another quick hands. I will also take this here cell swords gerb. You get the heirloom. You are still rocking superior light, which I'm not thrilled with. And I am giving you that Rondel dagger. Because I, I want I, I want the extra benefit out of Fury, and I don't have a better one-handed weapon currently, so we are where we are. combat, taking every combat. Everybody's got health. Jesus Christ. Halberd... Excuse me. Halberdiers with 160 health is a fucking nightmare. Alright, so... Alright, so everyone is taking 20. Uh, who don't I want? I'm gonna do one more round of that. Almost. One more round! Okay, so that's one definitely down. And that is a lot of a lot of shivs I've just put into my backpack. I've got a lot of shivs in my backpack. I may I may come to regret some of these decisions. Pretty quickly, but for the meantime, my backpack is filled with shivs. I'm gonna get rid of one of these diversions, I think. Maybe. I mean, if it's stupid and it works. I'm cons hmm. No. I'm concerned about my chances against the prince. I'm concerned about my chances against the warden, to be to be frank. Loremaster. Every time you draw a talent card, the wielder gains one stamina. Hey, um, so those those uh those shivs I keep on pumping into my into my decks, those are all talent cards. I'm gonna give you another another will. Just just one more will. Uh... Eh. No, I'm gonna forfeit it. I'll give you another stamina. I will take that mentor, and I will use that mentor to give myself another fucking red powder. What do you do? I don't remember. 
Oh, he's gonna give me a skill that I don't care about. Yay, thanks very much. It's very fucking helpful. Alright, there's our escape. Let's take the money? Question mark? No, let's go after the escape first. I want to get these fucking chains out of my hand. All right, so I now have five chains, I think, in my in my uh, bags. These guys, luckily, uh, hmm, no, no one is trivial because now they all have eighty. All right, Ugh. all right, we need to do this as quickly as possible then. And I actually can't do anything because I can't even target these guys as long as these barricades are up. see. Oh, we may have reached... We may have reached a moment. No, we'll be fine. There, see? Well, shit. Okay, good. They're not going to be pouring in anymore. For some reason, he's got his regular amount of health, 32 health. He should have 64. Interesting. Oh, I'm doing this for a reason. I am fucking sick of barricades. That is the reason. Rolling the dice. Rolling the dice. Actually, no, this is not a dice roll. Because the next one that will be turned into a zero is either one of DeGray's, in which case I'll get another flow, or it'll be one of Durwater's, in which case Durwater will be able to throw all three of his, hers. His? His. There we go. This is this game's version of uh, a Slay the Spire shiv deck. It's, it is just as high risk because I, I'm going to need to finesse the shit out of the warden. I, I'm, I'm very concerned about how I'm going to do on him. Because he doesn't even, again, he doesn't even start to take, he doesn't start to take bleed damage or he can't even take bleeds until his armor, I don't know, that wasn't necessary, until his armor is below 60. And these huge fucking these huge fucking shiv nukes they're going to be of limited effect on him. Don't need any of these. Alright. I'm gonna have my vengeance. And I just took six fucking uh, cards out of my hand. Happy about it. Alright. Uh, we can get a free level up. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's give it to Islington. Wait, who am I giving it to? Yes, I'm giving it to Islington because you two are both eight, and you will definitely be able to get to eight. Good, good. Okay. Okay. Uh... 
Yeah, I'll take it. That's fine. And I'll do one more will. Now, what I need more than anything else right now is money. So, we're going to take the riskier... We're going to take the elite combat. Thank God for that. Okay. Honestly, Rogue's Attire might be better on him. Every time this character plays a card, they gain three armor. He plays a lot of cards. I'll keep this in reserve as a just-in-case. I also have survivalist gear sitting back waiting. Forty damage, bottom row, huh? What a prick you are. All right. 176 health, you motherfucker. Huh. Forty damage coming at Durwater is not acceptable. So I, I, I'm gonna start whittling that down. I need to, I need to remove one of these halfwitters immediately. I don't know that Rogue's attire is gonna be worth it. Eh, maybe he is already up to twenty-seven. Almost. Fucking almost. Damn it. Ah, what a waste. Ah, what a waste. Should have thrown it off of uh, Hemelin. Hemelin. Sorry, Hemelin. I, I love you and value as a as a weasel. You're a very good. Oh, that's painful. You're a very good weasel. Uh, I my eyesight isn't very good. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Maybe I'll put DeGray on the outside then. Because he can... Alright. Well, okay. No fucking around. That was a mistake. Good. want to get like a snack or something, this is going to take a moment. Again, that is what I am banking on to, to, to kill the warden. Because that's not a banished card. I, I need to I need to knock down his armor, I need to get a shit ton of bleed on him, and I need to get that card into Hamelin's hand. This guy is Juggernaut, he's not going to take any damage under 5, which is fucking fine. Dirtwater does a lot more damage than 5. But not with that, not, not with that card. With the other cards. Uh, Instinct. Instinct is going to be a terrible idea because it's just going to keep, it's just basically going to fish shivs into my hand. take that hidden gem. Ooh, a bleed. Good. Yeah. We do need a heal, but we're not close enough to... Uh, we're not 
low enough that we get it for free and I'm not ruining a card to get a heal. But I am going to be aiming for, uh, if we can get round of drinks, I'm going to go for round of drinks. Okay. Those Ender Armored Crossbowmen, they need to fucking die. They need to die immediately, or I need to make sure that all of my... that all of my card draw effects are coming off of De Grey, who is immune to bleeds. And of course, they've got Guardians in front of them, so they're not going to take any... Oh my god. I may not... I, I may not have thought this through when I set this challenge up. This is, this is a bit. Forty damage coming at that barricade, huh? All right, that's enough for now. Yikes! That's not great. Fuck, I can't do anything about those crossbowmen right now. take the damage, but they will take the bleeds, right? Yes. wish I had a mouse, is what I'm saying. You guys are great, don't get me wrong. You're all phenomenal, but I really fucking need a mouse. Good, you'll almost die. Now you'll die to your bleed next round. Okay. Good, 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 good. Fuck you. Okay. Actually, you know what? Doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, I feel better about everything. Okay. So, I need to make sure that any and all card draw only comes from De Grey. literally just said from De Grey. What the fuck, man? Really? De Grey. There. That guy. That one. Remember what I said? I have said this a couple of times. Uh, one shot of red powder is enough to, to uh, satisfy the uh, requirement for the additional effect of invigorating blow. It normally deals 8. If the final damage is 13 or more, you gain 2 stamina and 4 restoration. If you have at least one red powder in your deck, uh, invigorating blow is a very valuable card. Or rather, it is an especially valuable card. You're going to die to your body. Or I'll just kill you now. That is also a thing. Yeah, I suppose that was really all I needed to do. 
Mr. Shiv's doing 103 damage now, by the way. I'm not taking any of these. Or these. Okay, I'll take the quick round, then I'm going in after the exotic merchant. Merchant. I'll take the extra damage from, from Hesitation. Five damage is not a big deal. Okay, so. I'm going to spend 500 bucks. And I am going to grab Rivalry. And... Yes, I am giving it to Hamelin. So Hamelin now has aerial rupture and rivalry, or aerial arterial rupture and rivalry. So that is hopefully how I'm going to kill the prince. Fuck, dude! Really, another one? All right, how close I am. How close I am. How close am I to eight on everyone? He's almost eight. All right, one more should do it. So let's take it. Normally those spearmen would be an issue. They're not because my entire back row, again, is just... They're... they they're, they're, it's, it's nothing but ranged, so... Oh, motherfucker! That's Durwalt! Ah, uh, that's Durwater. I forgot I changed places of him into Grey. Fuck! Alright, well, that was a waste. That's fine, though. It's fine, though. It's not fine. It's a waste. showed that barricade who was boss. Alright, there we go. Now, this time, let's try not to fuck this up immediately, shall we? Alright. Who needs health? You could use some health. Again, all right. I need to swap them back. My my brain is not ready to to accept that uh, Durwater is now in the middle. The, uh, the that should probably be going on to. Well, I'm talking to myself at this point. Give me a moment. It's gonna take a moment. Oh 
should have focused. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. dead. Back row isn't looking so hot. Entire front row is going to die from their bleed. So let's just let the uh, back row catch up with them, <coughs> shall we? Bye! None of these. Standing on top of level eight. All right. Unfucking believable. Again, that's dirt water. That's not de gray. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I need to change them back. I can't believe that I I, I I forgot. I forgot to change them back. I forgot to change them back. I'm wasting very, very valuable nukes. Because I forgot to change them back. I'm a pretty smart feller. Just I don't want to brag. Some people say I'm a genius. Mm. That's not bad. You're dying to your bleed. Gray can eat injuries. Oh no! At the start of the turn. Oh no, it only does damage at the start of my turn anyway. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I thought I fucked myself. I did not. Leaning very, very heavily on a million billion fucking shivs, and I'm not here for it. 
the the amount of damage that I'm actually putting out is it's it's I don't think it's enough, especially because everyone has twice as much health, literally twice as much health. We'll see how this goes, but I don't have I don't have very high hopes. To be frank, I am somewhat concerned. Somewhat, I I'm a bit concerned about our ability to even get through the ward. But we'll, we will see. We'll see. Holy shit, that is an awful lot of concealed blades in it. See, like, I feel a, a, a mouse really would have been through this by now, if I had a mouse. Because a mouse can easily pump out 160 damage without needing to fuck around this much. Brace is fine. All right. Tigray has his last level. Give him an extra stamina. Not taking any of these. All right, we no longer need to go after uh, combats. Oh, we probably did. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford... Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to afford uh, a fifth guy. But we'll see. Yep, we cannot afford a last guy. So let's go into the smithy and see if they've got anything good. Yeah, you know what? I'll take a reserves. And I'll even take a pink powder, actually. Alright, acid test. Let's see if we can get through the warden with this fucking shiv deck. And it is a warden who has 400 health! Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, so, single most important thing I need to burn through, I need to get Warden's armor down to 60. To get it down to 60 as soon as possible. And I forgot to swap Durwater into Grey again. Okay. You know what? Let's start working with someone else. He's about to do the thing. I might be able to kill him this round. If I finesse this just right, I might be able to kill him this round. going to take, for real, this is going to take some time. I'm going to step away from my keyboard for a moment and grab a drink. 
recommend you do the same. I'm back! Did I miss anything? Nope, sure didn't. So, Warden is going to die from his bleed. I hope. I hope. If... If... If bleed is... I'm, I'm banking... I'm banking on champion not being affected by bleed. Or bleed not being affected by champion. Whenever this character takes more than 25 damage from a single attack. Now, this is bleed. It's not an attack. So he should not take any, he shouldn't take any, uh, he should not take on any, any armor. That is what I am banking on. He should not be taking on any armor. Okay. Got him. Good. Okay. Thank fucking Christ for that. All right. So I can at least make it past the warden. Well, Jesus. Presuming, of course, I, I can uh, <laughs> make it through this part. Shit. Yeah, this will be fine. The dudes in the back are the one. The dudes in the back are the ones who are the most dangerous at this time. They're the ones who need to die first, because they're the ones who are capable of real damage. Diversion is out, so these are going. These are cycling back into my deck. That's fine. I'm all right with that. Wow, 121 damage shift. Okay. All right. These aren't going to be nearly as much because the uh, there's no. They didn't have they didn't have red powder on them, but you know what? That's fine. I'm calling this one. Uh, this this one seems like a victory. He said, "Tempting fate." There's a full heal as soon as we're out of here, so I'm 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 being a bit incautious. And a bit too incautious. I did not I did not remember to swap that thing onto Lore Master to make sure I could always use it. Mm -hmm. Can't be moved, right? Except by the warden. Islington helped.
right, so who's of these? Oh, they're yours. Neat. All right. I'll be right back. This is not the most optimal team, and are you going to have 600? Yes, Firemaster's going to have 600 fucking... That is going to be a thing. Potentially kill him this round. Potentially. Maybe. We'll see. So that's basically the, that's that's this that's this uh I have <clears throat> I refer to this I've done this strategy before and it's 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 a, it gets a bit tricky towards the end it's very strong throughout the early parts of the game in particular but it can be very very tricky towards the end because uh, uh sharp and uh the warden don't really go well together. The reason why we were able to get the warden so easily is because we lucked out with Hamlin, and Hamlin has uh, arterial spray, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, I call it Pump Weasel. These two guys, they exist to pump this weasel. And then this weasel who gets pumped, then he he does just just stupid things. He does, he does terrible, terrible things. Sorry, Spy Master. Here comes the Prince. Okay, so the Prince with twice as much health. Oh God, I have to go through 1,200, more than 1,200, almost 1,300. I have to go through 1,300 damage pretty fucking fast.
this is gonna suck. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm in a tight spot. I need I need more of everything very quickly. Uh -oh. No, don't kill Hemelin. No, Hemelin! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that sucks. That's real bad. We were counting on Hemelin. Fuck. All right. Uh how am I going to do this? I needed, a, I needed a mouse. I needed a mouse. I'm just not... The, what I mentioned before about noticing, I'm not doing enough damage. I'm not doing enough damage per round. I'm getting by. But... Oh, dear. Oh, please don't kill the Grey. Oh, the Grey! Oh, no! Oh, okay, that's it. We are... We're fucked. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, balls. One more round. Motherfuck. Forty damage coming in Dirtwater. Uh Dirtwater dies this round. Unless Well he's gonna he's gonna soak the first one. Yeah, he's gonna die. Fuck. Do what you can, buddy. Which is unfortunately not a whole lot. That extra guard was not going to help him. Oh, it might have. Actually, it might have helped him. Not the brightest crayon in the box. It might have helped him. Four extra. Five extra. Oh, dear. I'm still in it. I'm still fucking alive. But I don't live through this round. Oh, no, that's not it. Yeah, nope, nope. Yeah, Dirtwater dies this round. And with him... Oh. It's okay, Islington. You've got him up against the rocks. Ropes. Whatever. You've got him against the, the, the sports metaphor. Oh, my God. Everything in my hand. Everything in my hand is associated with a dead party member. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So that was actually a real. It was it, it. Towards the end, it did get a little tedious with having to just throw out so many shivs. I uh, um, sharp decks, sharp decks, pump weasel decks can work 
they can work. Not with the the mod that I'd set up. I, I needed I needed things to go very differently. They uh, uh, to catch everybody up, you know. The uh, the mods that I was using where everyone has double health. All mobs have double health, and uh, poison doesn't do shit. So I got as far as the prince and no further. We failed to avenge the black church, and uh, the prince gets to keep on being the prince. You know, good for him. Good for him. It did get it did get really tedious towards the end, having to constantly pump out just handfuls and handfuls and handfuls of shivs and throwing them around. That's uh, that's boring, and it's one of the reasons why I try to avoid that particular kind of deck. I didn't really get too much of a choice here. Every single recruitment event, they said, "Would you like to have a weasel, or would you like this rabbit, who is just stuffed with poison skills that are completely useless right now? Would you? How about this rabbit? No, I'm taking the. So I ended up with three weasels." Which I didn't, I wasn't really aiming for. I wanted a mouse. I needed a mouse towards the end. I needed something that was capable of taking really, really great advantage of uh, those red powders that I had. And especially the fury that I ended up picking up, rivalry, that would have been great on a mouse. Eh, coulda, woulda, shoulda. It's also possible that I might have uh, gotten a mouse that just didn't have anything decent on him. Okay. You know what? Uh, regardless, this was pretty fun. I'm going to keep on doing the, the way that I came up with this 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 particular uh challenge run was i just i randomized it and i think i'm gonna start doing that more um it's really fucking difficult as it turns out but in the meantime uh everybody enjoy your saturday thanks very much for coming along i love you all good to each other and uh be safe call your mom good night everybody